Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Malachi chapter 1, where Malachi wrote God's words to the people of the land. God told the people, I have loved you. Jacob and Esau were brothers, but I loved Jacob and hated Esau. Jacob cared about his future and he cared about me. Esau loved immediate pleasure and despised me. So I gave each of them what they wanted. God continued, a son honors his father and a slave honors his master. If I am your father and master, where's my honor? You do not honor me. This shocked the priests who heard the message. The priests asked God, how have we shown contempt for you? We offer sacrifices at your altar and your temple. We don't understand. God then told the priests, are you serious? You offer blind and diseased animals for sacrifice to me? You say, what a burden when you pretend to worship me in my temple? You sigh to yourself and wish you could do something else and be somewhere else. I am not worth your time. You say the food for my table is contemptible. Oh, if there was a wise man among you who would shut and lock the temple doors so you wicked priests would stop pretending. If you offered those animals to your governor, he would not accept you and he would be angry with you. And I am much greater than he is. God continued, I am a great king. My name is great among the nations from where the sun rises to where it sets. In every place, incense and pure offerings will be brought to me. There are people who will worship me in spirit and in truth. If you don't think I'm worth your time, then go try to find satisfaction somewhere else. But let me tell you a little secret. You're not going to find it. I curse the person who cheats me and has an unblemished animal in his flock, but keeps it for himself. It would have been better for that person to have never been born. The most important verse in this chapter is Malachi 1.11, which states, For from the rising of the sun even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And in every place incense shall be offered unto my name and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the heathen, saith the Lord of hosts. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that he wants everyone to stop pretending. He wants people to stop riding the fence and wants people to make a choice once and for all. If you are going to hate God and rebel against his commands, then go all the way. Be his mortal enemy if you so foolishly dare. If you are going to love him and keep his commandments, then go all the way. Commit yourself to an extreme holiness in all that you do. God will separate the goats from the sheep and he is doing that even right now. And God wants all people to choose today. Which side of the fence will you be on when God separates the sheep and the goats? Why don't you choose to worship and obey God now? Sure, it'll be difficult, but it won't be difficult for too long. You can endure. Surrender your soul to him today. Repent for your sin and place your faith in Jesus. He humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. And the Father raised Jesus from the dead. The Lord said that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and if we believe in our heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, we would be saved. Why don't you put your trust in him today? Thanks for watching the Malachi chapter 1 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos too. See you next time.